Uh, this is Brian Putt. In this video, we want to demonstrate two things. First of all, we want to demonstrate how to resample something using SIP math. And then we want to show how to resample without replacement. So let's assume that we have these years here of 1995 to 2010 that we first want to sample uh, with replacement. This is a very easy task. and We want to resample these for five years. The first thing I need to do is to initialize my model. So let's go over here to SIP math initialize. We'll do a thousand. To get the forecast here, we will highlight these rows. This is going to be uh, sampling with replacement. There's actually a, a generate input distribution for that. So we'll resample. Data to resample is going to be these years. And the starting ID is 1. And we'll just make that an HDR, make it real simple. And now I have sampled these years without uh, with replacement. This is kind of a strange one because we've got three ones. Let's come up here, put the developer. Now with this little scroll bar, we can check we can check the results here. These look more reasonable. Okay, so that's how we do sampling with replacement. Now let's change this and let's do a forecast. I'll move this out of the way here. Let's do a forecast without replacement. Okay, to do this, we need to assign numbers to each of our sample data. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and we're going to highlight this and we're going to insert a uniform distribution using our SIPMAT tooler, toolbar, generate input, a uniform, and we'll just start with that. That'd be fine. So now I've got uniforms here. Now what I want to do is I want to find the smallest, I'm going to use the smallest random number here to be my first forecast. We can do that by saying equals small array is going to be this array here of these uniforms, comma, and in this case I want the first forecast here. That will also give me the smallest uh, random number. Okay. And now that I've got that random number, I want to match it. I want to find out where this matches up in here. So I'm going to break this down to pieces so you can see the elements. So now we want to use the match command to match this random number in this string. So this equals match this comma in this string of numbers comma. We want to match it exactly so we'll put a zero there. So we'll see that this number here 06 0166 is the seventh number up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There it is. And the year associated with the seventh is equal to index of the years, comma, seven. Now we're almost ready to. Copy these across. We just need to put some dollar signs in here. And there we go. So this is our forecast year. without replacement. Hope this helps you in your modeling. Thank you.